Why do we need a preamplifier? All right, this question, it's a good one. It, it may seem obvious to some, but I want, I want to answer this. I think it, it, we, we honor this person. John in Massachusetts wants to know, he says, Hey, Paul, why do we need preamplifiers? What is the reason that amplifiers aren't designed with a volume control so you just plug the source directly into the amplifier? And, well, the answer is, of course, you do and you can. Those are called integrated amplifiers. They integrate a preamp and a power amp. And they're called integrateds. If you add a tuner, it's called a receiver. Well, today, <laughs> a receiver rarely even has a tuner. Most receivers have, they integrate a surround sound processor, a preamplifier, and a power amplifier. So, when Stan and I first made our power amplifier, the Model 1, this was in 1976, 1977, we made our very first power amplifier. We didn't have a preamplifier. We didn't use a preamplifier, we didn't have a preamplifier. We built the power amplifier, we gave it more gain than is typical. Typical is around 27 dB. We gave it nearly 40 dB of gain. It was like 38 dB of gain. And we put a volume control, a pot, on the very front of it and a set of inputs. And, I mean, back then, really the only kind of inputs we had was a turntable. So, you know, we had a phono, we already had, we made a phono preamp. So we had a turntable, our little phono preamp. We plugged that directly into the Model 1 power amplifier and we turned the volume up and down. Simple, easy peasy. It was great. Now, if somebody had a tape deck, later on a CD player, now all of a sudden you need multiple inputs and a way to switch between those inputs. So now, our power amplifier with the volume control has a switch. So now we have a volume control and a switch. That's an input selector. And you've just described the classic integrated amplifier. The pre-amplifier is either just a volume control or a volume control and a separate stage to increase the gain. So let's, let's talk about that. Most power amplifiers adhere to the standard of around 27 to 30 dB of gain. If you take the average CD phono preamplifier and you plug its output directly into a power amplifier with 26, 27 dB of gain and play it, it's not going to be loud enough for a number of systems. You're going to need more gain. So we add a pre amplifier that goes before the amplifier to increase that gain so that that standard gain amplifier can now play the sources at the appropriate level. One might say, well, why don't the sources have higher level? And I ain't going to get into that because you know what? I have no clue. It would be a lot simpler if, if they all did, but there's no such thing as, as standards within the hi-fi industry, I mean, we sort of loosely adhere to standards, but there, it's, it, there, there's not much rhyme or reason. And the last thing, and so that, that, that could get built in, but, and they do, and it's called an integrated or it's a receiver because you add more stuff. Audiophiles, me, perhaps you, many of you listening and viewing, we like to optimize the particulars of products. So when we build an integrated, we typically are trying to do that to a price. So we're going to take a volume control, an input selector, a gain stage, and a power amplifier and put it all in one box, right? When we do that, we want to sell the box for X number of dollars. Well, to do that, we have to be careful of how much we spend on each part of those components because we don't want to compromise sound quality. Overall, we want the best sound quality we can get for a given price. Once we establish that and take it out, if we were to remove part of that, like the preamplifier, 
the volume control input selector in the gain stage and pull it out and then say now let's put it in its own box then we could spend a bit more money to optimize it for that particular function that people might want to choose that separate piece of equipment to play with their power amplifier and that's how separates get going so that's why we have separates and yes you certainly could integrate all of those into an amplifier we call an integrated. Okay, I hope that helps, and thank you for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.